What is up guys, I'm Alex and this is Mana Spike Gaming, the place where we explore the competitive play to win side of Magic the Gathering on Arena. So as you can see, we have reset for preseason rank two, or preseason number two. Uh, we got sent back to platinum tier four, so we're gonna start the grind again. If I wasn't doing this on stream, I would honestly uh, play mono red. It's fast, it's efficient, it's good. But that drives me crazy. So instead, we anticipate the, me the meta being roughly probably seventy percent mono red, mono white. So our goal is going to be to just dunk on those two decks. So I have a reasonable version of Esper right here, and then we have a uh, I hate you red version here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that moment of craving in the deck description box so we can keep them apart. So we're running the full suite of moment of craving. Uh, we're running absorb over sinister sabotage for the life gain. We're running Lyra just because red has a hard time dealing with it. And we're running a single copy of cry uh, to just sweep their board a little earlier. Other than that, the list is pretty straightforward. Um, you can watch my other videos to get more insight on that. It's a control deck. Uh, we just want to gain some life and kill all of red stuff and then play some threats they can't deal with. So I would very, very much prefer to play best of one um, or best of three, excuse me, not best of one. But I don't have the time to make it to mythic in best of three, especially with the wins only counting as one. So essentially you're having to double the number of games you would play to get to Mythic. And I just, I have a family. I don't have that much time. Um, so we're going to play best of one this season. Next season we'll switch to best of three. Best of three is more interesting. There's more to talk about. There's more to think about. Um, there's ways to adapt and not play mono red every single game. This hand is great. We're going to keep it. We have early interaction. We have card draw. We've got more interaction. We've got all of our colors. Hey, look at that, a mountain. Um, let's, it doesn't really matter what we lead with. So we're gonna lead with this. I'll play a glacial forge. Actually, we'll, we're gonna play the drowned catacomb to not reveal the white source, just to give them a little, let, oh, oh, that's so good. I think that just won the game for us. We'll see. It's pretty much sure red can do ridiculous things. But that feel that feels good to have both our moment of cravings and a Raskus attempt on three. Cool. Uh, let's play this Hallowed Fountain. Go ahead and do this now before he gets a chance to cast an instant to get it out of moment of craving range. He's down to four cards. We're gonna be at twenty five life. Ah, oh, three Steamkins. Good for him. Good for him. Um, I imagine this Vraska's Contempt, Vraska's Contempt will get a concede. Yeah, we're at 25 life and he has three cards and it's turn five. Feels good. Those are nowhere near triggering, which also feels good. That's nice. I'd rather play that than the Chemist's Insight, I think. I think, actually, I'm going to Chemist's Insight instead. Hear me out. Um, let's play the Watery Grave. We have an untapped source here. So hear me out. Um, this would give us more filter, but if we play the Chemist's Insight in step here, we can play the search next turn and still interact, which is good. Our opponent's also drawn a metric crap ton of lands which is good for us i'm surprised he hasn't conceded yeah that's game so now we get to leave up absorb in case he has experimental frenzy and then in step we can cast raska's contempt So we want to leave up Absorb. The only way we lose this game is Experimental Frenzy. And we've seen three of a Steamkin, so I don't even think Experimental Frenzy would win it for him. Do I let that resolve? Yes. We let these hit us. 
our, our life total is healthy enough that we can use it as a resource. Um, do we want to Chemister's Insight? I think we want a chemistry's insight to see if we can find like a cry of the canarium instead of uh, focusing on uh, just using that Vraska's Contempt. We're also going to be at seven lands, so we can play both of these spells next turn, which is cool. Drawing a lot of lands, less than ideal, but that's okay. We're going to be filtering here. Mortify is not bad. I think we're okay drawing Mortify. That's That's a reasonable magic card. We'll draw it. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We want to have seven mana so we can do both of these things. So we're going to play the Drowned Catacombs instead. And say pass. Ah, another land for him. That's unfortunate for him. Go ahead and Vraska's Content. We'll Mortify. So hear me out. We did the Mortify instead of the Vraska's Contempt uh, in case he plays uh, Rekindling Phoenix. Uh, Mortify was useful for dealing with uh, Experimental Frenzy or something like that. And that's also, playing that also guarantees that we flip our uh, search. So yeah, we'll leave that. Oh no, I had to put that in the yard to do that, so that's okay. We're not really worried about it. I mean, we're going to flip search. We have two absorbs. This game is locked up, and he conceded. That's neat. I'm glad um, that it's only five ticks now. Let's get back in there. <clears throat> I'm glad that it's only five ticks to get there now. That's really nice. Yeah. So five instead of seven is really nice. That's a lot less games. It doesn't seem like much, but it's actually a lot of games. This hand is pretty good we'd like to thought erasure on turn we're not going to be able to we'll be able to moment of craving and then thought erasure uh the next turn so that's okay look at that it's another another mountain and we are just playing to just dunk on red hey play your steamkin would you look at that we're gonna kill that steamkin while we can Getting search online is important, but we're just gonna play, uh, we're just gonna kill it before it gets out of hand. That's fine. So we'll Thought Erasure on this turn. So we can, we want to do Thought Erasure because that gets three damage out of his hand and it also surveils so we can find a land. What do we grab here? What do we grab here? Um, we have a Braska's Contempt. We've got the Absorb. I don't know what we grab here. This is actually kind of tough. He doesn't have the banner for Goblin Chain Whirler, but that's going to be the hardest for us to deal with. Um, he's guaranteed to be able to play this. And this we don't care about as much, because we can counter it and we have time before he wants to play it. This is four damage, so we might just grab this. I don't know. I think we're just going to make the safe play and grab uh, this Pyromancer. Oh, feels bad, man. Um, I don't want to draw that. I want to draw it eventually, but I want to curve out. And we need to be able to cast these absorbs. So unfortunately, we have to pitch that. That's really gross. Uh, I mean, there's no way we're going to play that card on time for it to be relevant in any shape or form. That's not good for us. That's good for us, though. So, the question is... we ha Oh, no, no, I don't have any swamps, so no, we don't have options. So I think we're just going to Thought Erasure here and to search, and we're going to grab... Um, what are we going to grab? He's going to discard... The risk factor is not a concern because he's going to discard it off Flame Akeld. I think we actually just grab this and hope he doesn't hit the land. Is that okay? I think it's okay. Well, let's view the battlefield. We don't want him casting spells. So we're just going to grab this. 
and we're going to leave that there question mark we have our two blue sources that's our fifth source I don't, we're going to pitch that we just need answers so let's see what he plays that's bad for us so he's going to get to play his goblin chain whirler we don't want this flame of kel to hit the table so taking the hit from the Goblin Chain Whirler and the pumped Runaway Steamkin, the turn after this is going to really suck. Like, really bad. But we've got to leave Absorb up for that Flame of Keld, which is gross. I don't know if we can afford... I don't even know if we can afford to do that. Do we have to let Flame of Keld resolve? Which I'm not... That gets rid of the risk factor, which we're okay with. So... Uh, we're going to let him... If he plays the risk factor, we'll take the four... And then we have the absorb for the flame of Keld. So let's just pass the turn. And then it attacks. We will either get this chain whirler or absorb, depending on what he plays. Because if he goes one drop flame of Keld, pay for the steamkin, that's pretty bad. He's playing around settle, which was the other benefit of doing this. So let's grab this chain whirler. There's a chance we just get dunked on with the steam, like steam cam. Like if this is a one drop and he plays both of them, uh, it's pretty bad for us. Actually, it's okay. Cause he still has to discard the uh, risk factor. We want to draw a land so we can search and absorb. That's gross. All right, that's reasonably fine. That's eight, the problem is that's eight damage coming in. So we can't really afford to Thought Erasure. Or can we? I really wish we had drawn a land so we could have gone Search, Absorb. That was the easy, straightforward play. So he's gonna hit us for nine damage and take us to three next turn if we don't kill that Chain Whirler. So I think that's our only option. As much as I want to grab that risk factor and uh, play search for Ascanta. Yeah, we can't really afford to do that, I don't think. So casting Vraska's Contempt on that Chain Whirler gains us five life. Stealing that risk factor saves us four life and then another four life, but And there's actually, we're going to take the Steamkin, not the Chain Whirler. I just want to see if I can keep him from attacking with everything. So the question is, do we just want to grab the Steamkin instead of the Chain Whirler? I think we do, because that slows him down more, even though we take a little more damage from the Chain Whirler. So hopefully this isn't like... Yeah... Hopefully that's not an instant. So we're going to take five. We're going to let them draw the cards. And he's going to risk factor us again. Is that one from hand? I'm going to decline. He gets a whole hand of cards. Yeah, this one feels pretty bad. We're supposed to dunk on this deck, and it's not looking good. Wow, that's gross. Well then, I don't know how we win this, but we're going to try. Yeah, he just drew exceptionally well. Um, this is really bad for him, though. So which of these cards matter? That's three damage. I guess we grab that. Now oh, we don't need another land. Do we? No. We need some cards that do some things, like some Teferis or that. Now we're going to have to shock ourselves here, which is gross. Yeah, I really wanted to draw that Lyra. We have a hard time winning without it. 
especially because he's developed such a board and we played so much removal. Like he, so our red opponent has drawn five more cards than us, and he hasn't even played light up the stage yet. That is ridiculous that red gets that much card draw. Like it shouldn't work out that way. So we're gonna go down. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, I had to counter that. We were dead anyways. Like, um, hey, a lesson here is just play red, guys. I, I don't want to play it because I'm tired of it. But good grief, that deck is good. Like, mono red with 18 lands just drew seven more cards than Esper Control. And had double the cards in hand, and had a board developed. Um, that's just where we are. That is just where we are in Magic. So, like it or not, that's how things are. So we're gonna thought erasure moment of craving. Look at that. That is that's. Uh, I played one game before this started to get levels in, and it was mono red. So we have we have exclusively played mono red so far. Four out of four. Um, we can kill that. We can't kill this. So we'll grab that. Yeah, I can stay on top. It's good that he doesn't have that many creatures. We'll play the Demir Guild Gate because we don't need the mana. We only need two. And we'll get to Chemistry's Insight. Hopefully he doesn't play a creature. That's fine. I'll decline. Er, I meant to take action. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't mean to let him draw cards there. But that's okay. If he plays a creature, we're going to absorb it. Anything else? I think we'll absorb anything he plays here. But definitely a creature. I will absorb that. And then it'll shock our face. Okay. So we're at 23 life. He's ahead on cards because I'm done. We should be at 19 life. But that's okay. We got to resolve a Teferi, which is great. If he uses two burn spells on it, awesome. Uh, that's a really good draw. It's a really good draw. So the burn spells, we're just not worried about losing two now. Okay. Play another creature would be awesome. Oh, so good. Don't shock my Teferi, though. If he shocks my Teferi, we're sad. Oh. Well, we lost our Teferi, but he's going to be down to two cards in hand. And we're going to be at 20 life, which feels pretty good. It'd feel good to have that up, but... So three cards in hand, and we're still at 21 life. He drew more creatures, which is gross, but I think we're okay. That's nice. Uh, we'll leave Absorb up and then have Raska's Contempt. We'll do Raska's second main phase. What just happened? Nice, that was weird. I'm clicking too fast. I think our opponent is as well. That was a weird glitch. Uh, we'll let that hit us. Just to leave uh, Absorb up. That was a really weird glitch. Hmm. Do we want to brask us that? I think we do. And he'll burn us here. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just play that tapped. Leave this absorb up for any creatures. He's not going to burn us out anytime soon. Yeah, we'll absorb that. That's repeatable damage and it's a shock. So we'll hit that. Mortify is a good draw. We're going to go ahead and cast this main face. In case we draw a land. And we still have Mortify up, so that's good. 
Drill a land, and we'll pass. So that means we get to cast Chemistry's Insight or Mortify, either of which are really good. So this game's over. Opponent should concede. Yeah, there it is. Let's thought erasure first. Make sure everything's clear for our Teferi. Oh, wow. Um, we don't need another one of those. Our opponent should concede. This isn't a fight. You know what? I'm not done yet. All right, let's mute this guy. He's being cute. We'll pitch this god godless shrine. I'm not sure why he's playing a fast deck and then he's making us play it out. I mean, that's his prerogative, obviously. But this is a waste of everyone's time. Probably should have cast the chemistry's inside there to untap more lands, but I'm just trying to play fast here just so he'll give up. Sure. Yeah, he should really concede. There we go. Cool, so we are 4 for 4 playing against red, and we're actually 50-50 against it with a deck that's designed to beat it. But uh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I still have that draft. I was like, did I lose my draft when that... Uh, that's the free draft I got from the pre-release. I haven't played it yet. Uh, Standard's been super sweet, and I don't really like drafting on Arena. I draft every Friday in person, and occasionally I play Standard on paper now, um, but arena really scratches my standard itch if you will so uh, i'm gonna try to stream my or record my entire climb to mythic um last season i started at like diamond since we're starting at plat i'm just gonna try to record the entire thing and i'm also gonna record uh detailed statistics for you guys i'm gonna post in google drive so you can see what the metagame is looking like at different levels and what's working against those decks so I think that'll be fun and that'll be useful for everybody. Let's see if I can not screw up my mulligans again. Um, I haven't really been thinking about the lesson today. Today's lesson, again, was read the card and reassess the board state. Um, we've been playing very linear games against Mono Red, so there hasn't been very much to think about. Um, honestly, I feel like some of these Mono Red decks just could... I'm still in big head mode. A draw, interesting. Let's get out of big head mode, sorry. All right, well, we drew. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I keep forgetting my transitions to go from uh, big head mode to regular mode. I mean, I have a big head all the time, but it's super big right here. All right. What's the over under on seeing a mountain first? This hand is great. We have early interaction, a moment of craving. We have an absorb and we have an early search and all of our colors. This is great. This being a blue source would be preferable, but this is fine. Interesting. So let's go ahead and isolated chapel, search, pass. I don't know if this guy is on Drake's or if he's on Jeskai control, but we'll find out. I think we have a pretty good Jeskai matchup. Drake's is fine. Goblin. Tormenting voice. So this is obviously the Phoenix deck, which is not a great matchup. This card is good against the Drake's, but I don't think we want it. I think we just want to hit our land drops. Um, exiling the Drakes is really cool, but we can do that with the Vraska's Contempt. If he puts a second Drake in there, I'm going to feel foolish, but I think hitting our land drops is more important for now. Goblin. I really want him to play a Goblin so I can use this Moment of Craving and do something efficient with my mana. Uh, blue Source would be nice. A blue black source, exactly. Exactly drowned catacomb would be nice. Uh, 
the question is, would we shock ourselves if we drew a watery grave? Again, I want to draw it, but we got a graveyard because we got to hit a land. Okay, uh, do we shock ourselves to leave Absorb up? I think we do. Because we need to be able to counter a Crackling Drake here. Do we counter chart a course? Mm -hmm. So what we need to counter Crackling Drakes. We need to counter Enigma Drakes. And we need to counter Tormenting Voice. I don't really want him putting another card in the graveyard though, so I'm gonna counter this. I don't want him putting another Phoenix in the graveyard this turn. Because I don't know how many more discard outlets he has access to. If this ends up being like Tormenting Voice, we feel sad. If he's tapped out and only gets one Phoenix, that's great for us. Super. We'll just exile of Raska's Contempt if we draw a Black Source. If not, we'll Moment of Craving it at the start of a uh, combat. Graveyard. Just want to draw lands. Oh, we just want to draw lands, and we can't. So we'll wait to moment of craving this until start of combat so we can't pull it back out again. So now he kind of has to take the turn off. He's going to like sculpt his hand. Terramander, thank you for explaining to me. Two of them. I kind of miss that Kai's Wrath now. Oh well. Eldest Reborn still legit. He doesn't have any counter magic, I don't think, because of the way the stops worked. Oof, I want it. But I want a black land more. We just don't have the double black to cast it. All right, now we are 16 cards in. I'd really, really like to see. Ugh, we're going to save this moment of craving when he tries to adapt that. That's really gross. I really just want to see my lands. Yeah. Right, I guess he's playing around Settle. I can respect that. What is this at four? Arclight Phoenix? Yeah, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and moment of craving this Terramander. I just want black sources. Why can't I do that? Just, I really want to keep all of these cards. I just don't have lands. And now I have it. And I don't need it quite as bad. So one, two, three. We would have three mana up if we played Teferi, so that's not an option. Let's get him to sacrifice an arc like Phoenix, I guess. Or do we just let him hit us? to save the five damage. I think we just have to Vraska's here, which is kind of gross. Um, let's think about this. So if we play Teferi, we're gonna use three mana and have three left over. We've already played a land this turn, so there's no chance we rip a land off Teferi plusing. We can play Eldest Reborn, he sacks a Phoenix, and then he cracks back for 11 if he plays three spells. We can, I don't think we can afford to use the Vraska's on the Terramander because we need to have answers to these Arc-like Phoenixes because we've seen we've already used one of our ex or two of our exile effects. So I think we're just going to have to eldest reborn and hope he doesn't cast three spells. That's pretty much our only out, which is pretty gross. Uh cuz it's very likely he's going to play three spells and then we're going to go down. If he plays a shock, we're dead. But I think that was the highest upside play. 
That doesn't like a spell. That's good. That's good. Still haven't won yet. He's gonna have a really hard time casting three spells with one less in his hand. That's gonna take us down to eight. This will take us back up to ten when we kill the Crackling Drake. Actually, we can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play to fairy, plus to fairy, and then uh have enough mana to hit that crackling drake alternatively we can yeah that's, that's the only play so we're gonna come here doesn't really matter how it taps draw a card and make sure we get a black source so let's leave two white up to scare him Because this guy has been really respecting Settle the Wreckage. So let's see if we can get him to respect Settle the Wreckage again. If he has counter magic, this play was foolish. Uh, but I think this has a higher upside if he only attacks with one. Yeah, see, we got him to respect. Uh, oof, the problem is if he has counter magic, we're dead. All right, <laughs> that worked out. So look, mind games. Mind games got him there. Cool, so we're gonna get to grab um, his... Uh, oh, we exiled it, that's the only problem. I would have liked to have grabbed it. So do you wanna grab this guy? Yeah, let's grab this guy. How many spells do we have? A lot? Yeah. Let's grab a Terra Manor. Card is sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and search. That's fine. How much does this cost? Should only cost blue, right? He's probably just got lands in his hand. He's got lava coils. No, we don't want that. All right, the question is, do we block here? If he swings, I think we do. He might just be, yeah, he can beacon bolt and kill it, so. Yeah, he has seven in there, so he can just beacon bolt and kill it, so we're not gonna get a chance to block with it. The concern is that he beacon bolts it and then he swings in for lethal. Maybe I should have tucked that Terramander instead of drawing cards. I didn't think about the fact that he was showing Beacon Bolts. That was probably that was a misplay. Because uh, if he plays... If he finds a spell off this that costs two or less mana, we just lost. Finds an opt off of it. Yeah, we lost. So, oh well. Okay, well, we haven't lost. He's going to swing with both of them. We can tuck both of them, though, so... Oh, we lost. If he casts Beacon Bolt, I concede. Looks like he is. Close match. Oh, well. So we've seen a mountain in our first five games, and we're right back where we started. Uh, the competition level is, this is all mythic players, so grinding is gonna be really hard. Uh, maybe it would be better just to play a constructed event for two weeks and then switch to best of three so we can dunk on some people, but uh, that's okay. Fate Cake, I wanna beat this guy, that name's dumb. Oof. This hand is not good. Not good at all. Do we pitch this? If he's red, we lose on the spot. Yeah, I think we got to pitch it. This is not great either. We're going to keep it. 
can't as much as I want an early search, I can't afford to do that. Oh, now I get to feel silly. So what is he on? Sultai midrange or is he on Nexus? Bant, Turbo Fog. Rose, we'll play this so we have access to all of our colors next turn. I don't think there's any white spells we're gonna draw that we're gonna want to play, but. Well, that negate hand is looking really good now. That's the problem with playing rock, paper, scissors. All right. Um, Wilderness Reclamation gives them lots of mana. Hydroid is not a problem for quite some time. Teferi, we have answers for. We only have two answers for Wilderness Reclamation. I think we just grabbed the Teferi. That's how he wins the game. Oof. We're going to leave it there as much as I don't want to. I really just want to draw a fourth land so I can cast this Chemister's Insight. Uh, but this spell is too important in this matchup. We've got answers for the jelly, so... Yeah, so both of us just missed our land drop, obviously, because we put that Mortify on top. So... Question is, do we want to Mortify that? Just to keep him from playing Wilderness Reclamation? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think... Gosh, we drew all three of those. So we've drawn four dead cards, which sucks, and we haven't drawn a land. Yeah, I don't think casting Stone Rain right there is worth it. I think killing that's more important than casting Stone Rain. Well, that sucks. Do we want to get the other Wilderness Reclamation? Or do we want to get the Jelly? He's got two Jellies now, which is pretty gross. Um, We can deal with Jellies, so I think we're just going to kill this Wilderness Reclamation. We definitely don't want our fourth copy of Moment of Craving. Definitely want a land, preferably a white-black land. He's probably just going to jam a 2-2 Jelly here. No. That land was a good rip for him. That's a fine draw. Except for it comes into play tapped. Yuck, I thought we were going to get the Chemisters. That's less than ideal. So it enters the battlefield. So is that an enter the battlefield effect? Or is it just... Come in with those... Yeah, it just comes in with them, which is really hard for us to deal with. Well, that's gross. We're going to main phase it so we can draw some lands. I haven't drawn any shocks or any basics yet. So we got a moment of uh, Vraska's Contempt to deal with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully he doesn't play Nexus here. That's gross. That's really gross. Hopefully he jams the cri the jelly, the second jelly. If he plays the second jelly, we feel really good. No. Gosh, we have no, we've played one, two, three, four, five check lands and a guild gate. That feels disgusting. Do you want to Kaya's Wrath this so we have instant speed removal? I think we do. I'd rather have the instant speed removal. So he'll jelly here for a lot. No, he's gonna wait. So he gets to draw a bunch of cards, like a bunch of cards. We get to play our Teferi. It's okay if he responds with his own Teferi. Let's see what we draw. 
and that will determine whether or not we uh, shock ourselves with that. So I don't think we shock ourselves because that would give us Vraska's Contempt, but he's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't think he can, like, kill us out of nowhere. That also lets us cast Chemistry's Insight, which is kind of important. I'm going to shock ourselves because I don't think that 8 life is important, and I don't think that 2 life is going to make a difference in this matchup. We're going to lose this game by uh, a Hydroid Crisis crashing in for a bunch. 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's going to get to draw 4 cards, which means he's drawn uh, 8 more cards than us this game. And he has 2 Chemistry's Insights just chilling. That's gross. That's really gross. The other reason we play the land is so we can Chemistry's Insight if he doesn't, like do something that makes us want to play Vraska's Contempt this turn. Yeah. I really don't understand why that's not an Enter the Battlefield trigger. That card's really good. So he's run he is running low on ways to kill us. We've dealt with two jellies. He has one more jelly. And he's got, ah, uh, that's the only problem with playing it that way, because I kind of wanted to save that Vraska's. We have another one to deal with his Teferi, though. That's okay. That's good. Let's, uh, Chemistry's Insight. Ditching a moment of craving. Hopefully we draw an untapped land. Recog's a really good draw. Do we want to take eight more? I don't think... Damage doesn't matter anymore, so we're going to shock ourselves. I didn't need to shock myself because it's a fairy. But that does give us the op. Yeah, there was absolutely no reason to shock myself there other than to represent uh, double uh, absorb. We haven't seen any absorbs yet. Halfway through the deck almost. So. Would have been nice to have used that Kai's Wrath instead of the Vraska's Contempt on his Jelly. Do we let one, two... I don't think there's anything we can draw to get around that. So yeah, he might take a bunch of turns here, and that's okay. We have a Vraska to answer his Jelly, or to answer uh, his, his Teferi. So he's going to float some mana here and cast Nexus a bunch of times. Cast Chemistry's a bunch of times. But he doesn't have a way to kill us, and he doesn't have a search for Ascanta online. So... Yeah, we'll let that resolve, obviously. We don't have a negate. Or actually, we have a negate we could grab. But I'm just going to take the safe play and leave Raskas up. All right, well, he gets to take three turns, but he's, he's still got to find a way to kill us. That was a lie. Oh, uh, we'll let it happen. With that trigger on the stack, we'll Vraskus it. Okay. The problem with that Vraskus is now, if he draws the jelly, we're dead. So... I mean, we've. I don't know how many jellies he runs. Most people are running three, so that might have been a little premature to snap that off. Yeah, so we've only seen two of them. We've also seen two of his Teferis. So he has two Teferis and a, a jelly to draw in there. He's got two turns stacked up and a Chemisters. Yeah. 
I think if we didn't Vrask is there, he was going to find more Nexuses and he was going to get, um, he was going to get a, 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 an emblem on uh, Teferi anyways. All right, so he's got how many turns stacked up now? One, two, three. He's got a search on now, which is a little gross for us, but he's still got to find the jelly. So we have another Vrask. We have exactly one more Vraskas to draw. And then we have exactly one more Mortify to draw. And we have to draw them. We've got Precog to make it happen, so I feel reasonably good about it. I don't know, he might just go off here. I think he is. The good thing is Search can't grab the jelly. So... Just gonna let him do his thing. At least he's moving really quick. So He has three turns stacked up. He's going to Nexus and Escanta again. The thing is, he might not have another Jelly in his deck. Who knows? Yep. And casting that first and then search is the right order to do things. Yep. Another oh, chemistry's inside. At least it wasn't a nexus. Uh, twenty-five. So if he shows us another Teferi or another or a jelly, we'll concede. Obviously, but he hasn't shown us an answer yet or a win con yet. I think it's just like all but predetermined that he's going to get it now. He still has three turns. Yeah. He at least has four to fairies, so he's going to find a win condition. Okay. Yeah, I think we should just concede. Yeah, he's out of 20 cards. He's going to find a to fairy. Yes. Four turns banked up. Oh, that's five turns. So let's check his Teferi's again. One and one exiled. I feel like he should have hit him by now. He didn't draw any absorbs. 24 cards in. One of those would have been nice. Okay, he showed it to us. Oh, that deck is gross, and we're just kind of wallowing around Platinum Tier 4 right now. Which honestly is to be expected. We'll give it one more game. Uh, see if we can end this session with one tick into Platinum. That'd be nice. I think the fact that there's 250 grand on the line now has uh, completely changed the ladder, for better or worse, forever. Um, because now people are playing for money and not for imaginary internet points. I think we search instead of leaving the gate up. Yeah, we're going to search. Because uh, most likely he's going to play a fanatical firebrand and not a non-creature spell this turn. So, yeah. He keep a one-lander. That greedy bit. <laughs> um, that's important to draw. But it feels greedy. We have to draw exactly a black source next turn for that to be good. So we're going to graveyard that. Yep, see? It wouldn't have been good. It would not have been good. Plays a non-creature spell, will negate it instead of absorb, so we can save our flexibility. Man. We can library that. You can shock us, that's fine. I just want to counter creatures. If he doesn't play anything here, I'm going to feel foolish. Maybe I should have countered it. Yeah. Whatevs. 
that we will gonna absorb it. I could negate it, but I just want to use a mana efficiently. Nope, too slow. Don't have the lands. Yes, and we're going to go ahead and brass because this, because we want to turn off uh, Wizard's Lightning. And then we'll get to Teferi, Negate. That's also the other reason it left the Negate up, is so I could have something to do with my two mana after I cast Teferi. No creature. That's okay. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Let's go ahead and put a stop here. We want to turn off Spectacle. Okay. That's game over. All right, well, that was a quick one. Let's get one more in then. I said I said one more, but... It's the ladder. It's reset. I gotta, I gotta get back to the top. So we we've seen a mountain in every deck but one, so far, and it was a Nexus deck. So, unfortunately, I might just stop playing best of one, even if I d can't get. Oof, this one we're gonna keep because we have two surveil effects. But normally I don't like keeping two landers on the play, but we're getting. A lot of two landers yesterday and today, like a lot of them. So uh, we run 26 lands for a reason and with a surveil, we should be okay. Okay, well that is seven out of eight games, mountains. That's a good draw. All right, let's grab three damage out of his hand. Um... So I don't want him to draw the cards off this, but I also don't want him to cast that. If we grab this, he's going to go Firebrand, light up the stage, and draw a bunch of cards. I think those two cards are worth more. That's going to deal four damage to us, though. Are those two cards going to be worth more than four damage? I don't think so. And I'd rather him... That's tough. This is four damage, though. I'm gonna grab the light at the stage. And we're gonna leave that on top. We just wanna keep him low on lands, keep him low on cards. And we also have the Kaya's Wrath if we hit another white source to deal with his creatures, and that that's nice. So I'll play this. Um It would be nice to thought erasure here and then be able to Kai's Wrath the turn after and get three creatures. I think that's a better play than trying to go. Uh, I think that's a better play than Moment of Craving here. I think we can eat that two damage to save that three damage and get to get the surveil. Awkward. We really want the land, but we really want. The white land. We're still going to leave it there because we want to cast this precog. And also we can go negate moment of craving, which is fine. Uh, we're going to take action here. I'm going to go down to nine and then back up to 11. We're going to go ahead and do this now to turn off uh, Wizard's Lightning. Feeling reasonably good about this one. A white source would have made me feel really good about it. Oh, the fact that he did that makes me feel great. So I think the better play was playing the one drop or doing that on my turn. Um, I don't know why he played it first, but 
That's cool. I don't think we can shock ourselves. I don't think we can afford to shock ourselves. Do we want to shock ourselves? So we take a turn off by not doing it. So I think we're going to shock ourselves. And then we don't need another Kai's Wrath. We want Absorb, we want Teferi. Yeah, these draws are fine. Okay. So we're gonna have the land, so we'll get to play Teferi and have Absorb back up. Okay. We'd like to draw a white source here, we didn't. So let's play Teferi first. No, we have to tap this swamp. Sorry, I played. Keep up the pace. What's awkward is we need this white source to play Kai's Wrath next turn. Uh or we die. Gross. So let's And the problem here is we don't get to leave up mortify and absorb. So we need that yeah, we only drew one white source up until then. So the question is do we just I think we're gonna thought Thought erasure. I should have thought erasure before I drew there to make sure I drew a white source. No, I tucked it so it didn't matter. Let's do this just to surveil. Graveyard that. Relevant. Hopefully he just cast a burn spell. I like the way he just gave us the win there, or at least the chance to win. If he just, actually he could have just done it on the stack and killed us. <laughs> I love playing against bad red players. Like this guy's just not playing all that well and it's working out for us. That's, <laughs> that's really funny. Um, we're actually gonna Kai's Wrath this so we can have the instant speed removal. A little bit overkill, but it's okay. And then if we cast this Thought Erasure, we can still Mortify. But I think I'd rather have the option to Chemistry's Insight. I can't believe that guy gave us two opportunities to win on the same turn. That was really funny. Oh, we're dead. Well, that sucks. Draw and dead. Oh, well, our deck is designed to dunk on red. And uh, we're just 50-50 against it. Um, I'm going to have to take a look at the deck. What could, what could we do to make this deck better against red? We could cut a precog. We didn't draw Lyra once, that would have been nice. We can cut in a gate and we can run two copies of Revitalize. So we'll try that tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's a little disappointing. Like our whole plan was just to beat red and we saw red in like nine of 10 games. Um, I mean, one of them was arc like phoenix deck so 80 percent of the decks we played were mono red burn and i feel like we brought a deck that had a good matchup against it we just didn't get there so we'll see how those revitalized changes work tomorrow morning thanks for watching guys